Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jens and in today's video I'll be showing you the two widgets from, from Git named GetView and GetWidget. Now these two widgets are usually used for your pages and it's what connects the UI layer to your controllers with all your variables inside. So I'll be making a very simple home page and then connecting it with a controller using uh, GetView or GetWidget. So let's get into it. What you want to do first is inside your home folder, let's create another one called views and do the same for login. And this is actually where we're going to um, create our pages. So what you want to do is let's create a dart file and let's call it home view and the home view will actually be very similar to a stateless widget. So we can actually just create a stateless widget and let's call it home view. Uh, uh, let's just uh, do the same here for uh, uh, login. So let's create a file called login view. Okay, and the big difference here uh, is here in the stateless widget. So what you're gonna do is actually just wrap this, uh, instead of a stateless widget, we use a get view, and you can actually specify the controller that you wanna connect it to. So in this case, it will be home controller. So what I'm gonna do now is just, uh, let's create a scaffold. Uh, with an, let's say an app bar and uh, a body. Oh, let's just make a container for now. Let's go to the login view and also do the same. So we have a git view and we connect it to the login controller. Okay. So as you can see, uh, our app did however go to um, our home route but there's just nothing there, it's just a blank screen. Uh, and the reason is because uh, if we go here, so here's our routes and uh, we can see over here, uh, it's just pointing to a container. So you'll actually have to change this page to uh, home view. fresh and there you see so now uh, it's actually going to the home page which is good now for an example I'll just create um, a button to increment Now you can see here's the increment icon. I didn't actually set it to uh, action at this point. Okay, so basically this widget is already connected to the home controller and how we actually access it is by um, going to uh, some function and you just say controller dot. So this controller is actually your home controller. Uh, so we can say increment. So every time you press, it's supposed to um, add to the number but the issue here 
is that we haven't actually created a controller yet. So before we load the widget or inside, we can actually call get dot put uh, and we call home controller like so. And when we refresh, it rebolts and it actually creates the controller. As you can see down here, it says created your home controller and you can actually press the button. So the next widget we're going to look into is the get widget, which works very similarly. Uh, as you can see, you can still access the controller uh, with one key difference. And you'll use get widget whenever you don't want to create a new instance of the controller. You just want to uh, actually look for it in the stack already. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys learned something today. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.